Hi everybody, it's Candy with Custom Queen Designs and I'm here today to do an alcohol ink drinking glass, regular drinking glass. I forgot what I was doing for a second. I'll be using one of these glasses right here. I got this from Dollar Tree, regular drinking glass. I like the heavy bottoms on it, so this is why I picked this particular one. Um, I painted it, went ahead and spray painted it white. By the way, let's show them that new little, uh, new little doohickey that we found oh, in Walmart the other day. So, in Walmart the other day, happened to see these little things right here. I know she knows what she's doing, y'all. I'm just, you know. So, <laughs> so um, we saw these in Walmart, and I asked the guy. We both asked the guy, like, you know, what does this do? And he said, it, you can spray paint. Oh, stuff. No, I was just, well, while you're talking, <laughs> go ahead. You can spray paint, um, and you don't have to touch the, the button or the trigger or anything like that. Rust-Oleum so, makes this? Yes. Made but, by rust -Oleum. But they said it can fit any size spray can. Any any spray can from any brand. All right. Um, this actually allows you to spray in a, I mean, it's just a more consistent manner. It, it's, it's not going to be as even, of course, as like if you had, you know, like if you, you, you were in like a paint shop with, um, you know, with an airbrush or something like that. But it is, it, it, it will spray, you know, it will give you a nice even, you know, instead of normally you go tss, tss, when you're spraying with your finger, you can actually hold it down longer and move across and, and evenly apply some paint. And she hasn't been getting any running on, running on uh, anything she spray painted after either. It comes out really nice. And the cool thing about it is you can use this same one for whatever color. They fir at first they told me that you had to make sure you washed it out and cleaned it out. But if you look at it, this doesn't even touch anything. Yeah. And when you spray, it sprays out or it's not gonna do anything. So taking this off and putting it on another can is not a big deal. Best thing about it was $2.49 at Walmart in the paint section. Look for it. All you do is just sit there and spray just like this. I love it. It's the best thing that I've gotten in a while. Yay, okay. So, I've already mixed my epoxy. I am using, again, Alumalite Amazing Clear Cast. Amazing parts. Clear Cast. Uh, hey, I've seen your page. I've seen all them people buying just casting resin and wondering. <laughs> so, the two part clear coating and casting resin, and <laughs> this is not my day today. And I've added into the epoxy a little bit of Recollections Champagne Gold. Recollections Champagne Gold. And today we are going to be using some pinata inks, the Blanco Blanco, the Calabaza Orange and rich gold along with this is a new ink that i found at um michael's that just came out and i purchased it and i love it uh it's called bria reese alcohol ink and this one is cadmium red it's a very very nice vibrant red so let's go ahead and get started For some reason, I don't know why I like the rotation to start turning towards me and not away from me. That's just my crazy thing. Cuckoo! I'm not cuckoo. <laughs> Maybe a little. All right, so here we go. I was right, I had a little vision the other day that when you're pouring, I should start trying to see if I can just do a little sky view for the folks. And I 
to set up the lights right too. A sky view. Yeah, a little overhead view for them. Aren't you guys lucky you're getting a sky view? <laughs> That's that VIP. We love you guys. We love us. We love you. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that I get this completely, completely covered. This end a bit more the By the way, I don't know if we mentioned it. Have they seen it in any of the other videos yet? But uh, I don't know if you guys noticed the mat down there. That's just a regular road uh, bacon mat, but it's so made out of da -da -da -da, silicone. So you'll notice that even though she's been using it for probably for what, almost a week now. Yeah. Ain't no because she can peel everything off when she's done. Just peel it right off. Usually, what she does is whatever's uh, laying on here, like this little puddle collecting here, she puts it over here in this mold. It's Golden. really pretty like that. <laughs> Golden glittery. This would probably look really great in the sunlight. Yeah. You guys, I have been out here commando putting these alcohol inks on with no glove. <laughs> and uh, I have a lot of ink under my fingernails and it's really hard to get off. So don't be like me, use gloves. Okay. And I think I just got an idea about how to do, how to, to work on that. We'll, we'll see tomorrow. Probably by the, by the next video, you guys, I'll probably be showing y'all something that I suggested to her. And if it worked, awesome. Alrighty, so what color should we start with? Mm -hmm. Orange or red? the red one. All right. The only thing that I dislike about this alcohol ink is how big the tip is. If you Are look in the actual hole or the yes, actual... the actual hole, the tip. If you see that one compared to how can they see this? I think, okay, they can see it now. Yeah, that compared is compared to how a the pinata ink is. Yeah, that's a pretty big difference there. So be careful when you're using the, the Bria Reese ink. It's beautiful ink. Yeah. It'll just sometimes come out really fast. If you guys get this one, it looks like it's about um, twice as, as wide as, as the uh, the Pinata brand. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start. Okay. Did I hear you talking about some folks who were saying the other day that like um, that epoxy, you know, when you when you drop alcoholic into epoxy, like the epoxy can like repel it? Yes. Um, the experiences that I've had with that is when I sometimes when I go to drop it on a cup that I'm doing, it seems to bounce off. I don't know if it's because I'm doing something wrong. Uh, if anybody knows. Ooh, it wrapped around the bottom. Alright, so now I'm going in with the orange. So how come it's not bouncing off for you? I don't know. Is it maybe, when, when it did bounce off, were you doing anything different than you're doing right now? No. You were getting just as close to the, the cup before you dropped the ink? Mm-hmm. Alright, so that's a riddle. That's why I said if anybody <laughs> if anybody knows what the deal is, let me know. Alright. Looking, looking kinda. I think I wanna add a little bit more red though. More? Yes. Dude, you know me already by now. You should know know how I roll. You know I got soul. No? 
だけね。<笑><笑>
That's what I want. It's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. And the variation in color, it's like the whole, almost the whole spectrum of red is there, basically. And I like that it gets deeper and in some the, spots. Yeah, and all the way into pink, going all the way to white. Yeah, man, it's awesome. Thank you. You're awesome. All right, you guys, so some alcohol ink and a Dollar Tree drinking glass, some epoxy. This is going to go into the, this is definitely going into the, uh, into the cabinet. <laughs> I'm going to be using this bad boy right here. I'm hoping and I'm praying. She's probably going to put a little video of this on Facebook. Someone's going to be like, I want to buy it. Yeah. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make another one. I want it to be a set. Yeah, it's If gorgeous. we keep him from us, it'll be his and hers. <laughs> that gold is wonderful in there too. All that gold place. Yeah. You don't need much of it. It goes a long way. All right, you guys. So, again, thanks for watching with us. Thank you for watching. Thanks and for subscribing. Thanks yes. for sharing. Yes. But and please do more of it. <laughs> and try this out on yeah. a regular drinking glass. And let me see what you come up with. Because I love seeing, I absolutely love seeing everything that everybody comes up with. Try some different stuff. Because we definitely got some different type of shaped glasses that we're experimenting with right and you now. guys have come up with some absolutely beautiful glasses that i've seen yeah so, yay yeah keep it up i want to see more all right you guys thank you bye bye